but some insects, especially those appearing black, shall we say, sometimes there's more to them than meets the eye, and they're not just black. Although at first glance, they might seem to have some metallic lustre, when you see them close up, that's when the true beauty of species like this Chrysalina oricalcia comes in. Although this particular individual appears black, and to all intents and purposes it is, close inspection and macro photography reveals that there's more to the coloration of this beetle than at first glance. just having five minutes sat in the middle of a track in Sherwood Forest, as you do. This particular little track is quite shaded and we've had a bit of sunshine today. It's also well vegetated and amongst that vegetation on the side of the tracks here is cow parsley. Now at the moment, this is the end of the first week of June, start of the second week of June, the cow parsley is adorned with what appears to be this black beetle. On first glance, it appears black, but on closer inspection, most of these specimens will be seen to have somewhat brassy luster to the elytra and the pronotum. Some specimens are distinctly blue on the elytra, with a greenish brassy hint to the pronotum. They're quite a lovely beetle, but you need to look closely to see and appreciate the beauty of this species. And this Chrysalina oricalcia is at the moment present here in literally dozens. It's probably the most I've seen here for maybe 10 years. It's a beauty. This is not a common beetle. It's certainly not an everyday find in Nottinghamshire, although at present, if you come to the Sherwood Forest Country Park, you'll find it quite easy if you come in from the Swanker Road end. Because of the recent rains, some of the beetles have been dislodged. There's many, or most at least, are actually on the preferred food plant, which is cow parsley. There, on the plant behind this, there is another two. And the larva will soon start to appear as well. They eat the leaves of cow parsley and the heads are quite easy to find here. This is a beetle. It's, if I remember right, it's nationally notable bee. So, over the UK, this isn't a common species. But here at Nottinghamshire, in Nottinghamshire, especially in the Sherwood Forest area, we do quite well. There's a couple of places where you can find this beetle and occasionally it'll turn up at other sites as well. In fact, I recently found a, quite a group of these on the former colliery site at Ollerton, which is now known as Ollerton Pit Woods. And I was quite surprised to find it there, just on a patch of cow parsley at the side of one of the tracks leading up the hill. And here's the other general form this is the form that's more sort of brassier and darker overall less two-toned the other one that's on the plant is also like this it's this is the commonest of the two what i call forms really or colors the crassina or a calcia that i've come across say so lots of these this year this is an ideal opportunity if you've not tracked down or come across this species before. Now's your chance. Well, that was Chrysalina oricalcia. It's a lovely species. Doesn't appear it at first glance, but on a close inspection, proves to be really attractive. 
And that's how a lot of species are. They might all appear black, but especially with beetles, if any have a metallic sort of hint to the elytra, the pronutum, or the head, in the right light and under the right conditions, they can appear absolutely beautiful. That initial black coloration and black appearance often belies their true coloration.